So what's going on, Happy Hustlers? This is the <laughs> this is the first ever Facebook Live that we're doing with Jimmy Tran. Just in case you guys are wondering who this man is and why I'm talking to him and why is he talking to me and why we're doing even a Facebook Live on a Friday afternoon. Um, I'm going to explain that to you guys. So Jimmy is a, well, actually, you know what, Jimmy, why don't you introduce yourself? Who, who are you? What do you do? And uh, yeah. You know what? I should be honored that you invite me to this, uh, as this live, Facebook live, right? So uh, I'm, a fake, I'm a fake forwarder and um, Tom, he helped out this group a lot. Uh, I seen the polls that he does. I seen, uh, you know, the videos, he's really active. And so, you know, like any active group where, the admin or the owner of the group is, is uh, active. I want to, I also want to be in that group. So that's why I'm here. And um, uh, we're going to talk about um, fake forwarding, uh, just the basic, because, you know, it's the first, uh, it's the first video about fake forwarding. So we're going to do the basic. And then if anyone have questions, uh, leave the comment below. And then um, Tom and I can always go back, answer them or go into specific topic. Yeah, right. for sure. For sure. So, so Jimmy, you do freight forwarding and you're based out of California, right? Yes. We're based out of California, but uh, we handle, we could handle UK, Canada and US. So okay. it's not a problem. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. So, so the question, I guess the first question I have for you is why do we need a freight, a freight forwarder? What's um, like, what, what, why, why can't we just use the manufacturer and then I'm sure they can get the stuff to us as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. Anyone could do the shipping for you. I mean, for all we know, like if you want to give your package to your mom, your mom could do it for you or your brother <laughs> could do it. For you, right. Yeah. That's the truth. Right. I mean, if you really want to get your, your factory could do the shipping for you as well, mm -hmm. but you have to understand your factory responsibility is what is to manufacture your good. You right. know, like they're not gonna, they might know how to ship your good because they ship your good before, but when there's a problem that they run into, you know, like right. they're not going to be the one that's solving it for you. It's the fake forwarder that's going to solve it for you. Right. It's just like uh, me as a fake forwarder, you know, I don't sell on Amazon. But if you ask me a bunch of questions about Amazon, I, I, I probably tell you way more than an average person. But when yeah. it comes down to how to sell on Amazon, how to market on Amazon, you should ask Tom. Right. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So I guess everybody has their own specialties. And you should hire the pros to get a job done right. Yes. Yeah, oh. it, I, I, I saw some of your video, like for example, photos, right? Any mm -hmm. one of us could pick up a camera. I mean, I, I seen some of your photos. They're very professional. But I mean, the thing is, does it, make, does it qualify you to take photos and to upload on Amazon? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. okay. I guess that's a good example of like, you should get the person that do the job, not the guy that's, that's his secondary job. Okay. Or that just is, you know, his side job. Right. Okay. So let's walk through, um, let's walk through the process. Um, so let's say I found a product. I'm a new, most, most of the Amazon sellers in my group, I believe are beginners, a little intermediate, a few pros, seasoned pros. Um, but as for a beginner who just started selling on Amazon or who recently started on selling on Amazon, maybe they have a shipment. Most of us are going to be doing air shipping, right? But let's say, so do you handle that as well? You do air, uh, cargo, you do uh, sea, ocean, like you do everything, right? Yes. So well, we, we don't do express because express, you just better off just going with the factory. So whenever your shipment is under like 250 kilo or 1.65 cubic meter, uh, you want to use just express. I'm okay. just, this is only an estimate number, okay? It's not concrete, right? right? right. So anything above that, you want to go with air freight and ocean freight. So that's what we handle. Okay. So yeah, yeah. let's say, let's say, um, you know, I, I, I want to order a huge quantity, right? And I found this product, maybe the first order that I did, it was a, it was through express because I just wanted to get it done fast and whatever, I pay a little bit extra for air shipping, whatever. But the second one, I validated the product. I really want to cut down my shipping cost to bring up my margins. So I'm going to go with ocean and I'm going to order a lot more, like 5,000, 10,000 units. Yes. So I'm going to place that order with my factory. I'm going to pay them the invoice. Then I have to contact you. Yes. Right. So, so yeah, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go step by step. Right. So right. 
recently I seen um, as a as a fake photo I see everything like I pretty much see everybody uh, what come in I see what new product are coming in but you know everything is confidential I don't tell anybody what you sell right mm -hmm. so lately I seen a lot of FDA product that come in like FDA required product that come in and I seen a lot of posts about people having FDA problem mm -hmm. so my advice to everybody is um, reach out to a fake folder that you know um, they will do it for free I mean uh, I do it for free I don't know what other people do it for free just say hey you know what I'm planning to import this product what document do I need you know mm -hmm. versus like hi I'm uh, I'll give you an example right this guy he spent uh, $15,000 on brush okay and I told him yeah you know yeah I could import those brush for you you know it's just a piece of wood and hair right but later on when I'm handling his paperwork he say hey you know the brush is made out of uh, weasel hair Mm. And I say, oh geez and I say what kind of weasel and <laughs> then next thing you know he give me the weasel name and I say hey man that's endangered species weasel <laughs> <laughs> and I say you can't import that in right <laughs> so the thing is like you, you know you you want to reach out to the faith order and you want to be a, as detailed as possible for import product um, uh, I, I give you another example of glass product uh, mm. uh, I guess I, I can't be specific but let's say glass cup right different glass cup have different duties so duty is important because it could be duty free or it could be 17 percent so first thing first before you look at the product don't just say oh you know this thing costs five dollar also ask yourself what is the duty on top mm -hmm. of it then get the transportation price and then so uh, that's number one number two is so after you uh, close the deal with the factory right Tom what mm -hmm. do we do next right so if you uh, if you buy EXW, then um, you know you just give us the factory info. We will reach out to the factory and we will arrange the pickup because EXW is EX work. I mean, we pick it up from the factory. Right? You pick it up from the factory. I will pick it up from the factory okay. uh, in, uh, at uh, Origin, wherever the factory is at. Okay. Uh, if it's FOB, if it's FOB, you and the factory will always um, come to agreement like let's just say if you buy the product in uh, Shanghai then the factory somewhere near Shanghai let's say the factory would say hey you know what it's gonna be FOB Shanghai so that the factory is responsible to take it to the port of Shanghai and then from that point on the transfer of uh, responsibility go to you the buyer which we are your transportation company and we take over mm -hmm. but we'll communicate with the factory the whole time in regarding to you know the, the coordination of taking it to which warehouse in Shanghai. So, so generally speaking, um, what do what do you recommend, or does it really depend on on on, on certain basis? Like, is FOB better, or is it the other one better? Oh, good Amazon question. Good, very good question because people always ask me, right? Is FOB better or EXW better, right? So personally, for me, um, it's just like FOB is like a hamburger, right? And EXW is like a hamburger with cheese oh you know, extra right it's just like for me it's just extra work but we do this every day we make hamburger and we put cheese on it every single day so in terms of is it harder for me I think a lot of people ask me is it harder no it's not harder for us because we do it all the time but now let's go into the detail of the difference between the two right mm -hmm. so the thing with EXW is that your cargo is being treated as a single shipment so let's just say you buy a pallet from the factory, right? And you want to uh, uh, pick it up, EXW. Well, we're gonna send a single truck there to pick it up. Mm -hmm. So when the car goes ready, it's gonna get picked up. But when you buy FOB from the factory, the factory might say, you know what, Tom, your pallet is ready. But here's the problem. I don't wanna send that one single truck. I might wait until John, mm, right. Eric, to be ready so that I could put every pallet into one truck and then right. I take it to the port for you. I mean, they offer free shipping, right? I mean, with any business, you want to consolidate. So that's what they do. So if you want your things to go a little bit faster compared to everyone else, you go with EXW. If you really just want the, the service FOB, then you just wait. I mean, sometimes if, you, if you're the first guy to uh, the first pallet, you might wait, have to wait for a few days. But if you're the last guy, then yeah, it's gonna get to the port right away. So, so is is EXW generally more expensive then? No, because uh, DXW is generally more expensive. However, you also have to think the factory is gonna 
factor in the average cost. So let's just say the factory know that the market price to deliver this pallet is a hundred dollar. If they could consolidate it, you know, for pallet and they, they will still charge you a hundred dollar. So you, it, it, it's come out to like the honesty of the factory. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, cool. So, I mean, as a, as an Amazon seller, right? Uh, like, I mean, is there one, so it seems like to me that you recommend EXW so that you don't have to wait. Um, for me, like I say, whatever make you happy, make me happy. Yeah. Yeah. But, but as an <laughs> Amazon seller though, like for myself, right? Like if I'm, um, shipping something from China to, you know, to, to Amazon warehouses, um, from based on what you've told me, I think it's better to pay. If it's, if, if, for, personally, for me, if it's urgent, you should do EXW because yes. you have more control. Like, right. like, like you know, just like anything else, you know. Let's just say me and you, right? We we meet up somewhere. Like we meet up halfway. Um, that's that's a chance that you're gonna be late, right? And that's a chance that I'm gonna be late because we meet in the middle. But the thing is, I say, hey Tom, let's go. Let, let's go hang out. Let's go for dinner, right? I'm just gonna show up to your house. Right. So now it's just like, there's no way for you to be late now, man. I'm right, right, right here. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, 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 that's a good example of it. But uh, if things is urgent, it's always good with EXW because you have control over it. But if like, you know, we just hang out, meeting each other at the bar, I, I'm already drunk when you get here, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Like we could be late. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, interesting, uh, interesting analogy. But <laughs> hey, I'm, um, I'm an analogy kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Um, so, okay. So I'm going to contact you. I'm going to say, Jimmy, um, I have a hundred pieces of a toys, whatever toys? toys, let's say toys, um, that I want to get over to Amazon warehouses. Yes. What, so the thing is, what, 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 what's next? So what's next? So right now you, you give me that info. Uh, what a lot of people, what a lot of mom, um, uh, my client do, I don't know if other fate for to do it. My client just give me the factory info. Right? And just say, Hey, just contact the factory. And I will reach out to the factory and say, hey, you know, like, for example, Tom is going to buy uh, his next order of toys. You give me no info. You don't even, give, you don't even tell me it's a hungry box. You don't even, you right. know, nothing at all, right? So right. I reach out to the factory. And I, I collect this information. And the factory will answer all this question for me. And right. with that, I would say, hey, Tom, your next order, I reach out to your factory. And your factory say, hey, you know what? Um, this is the information. And then I give you the price. If you like it and you say, Jimmy, I like it, go for it. And I will reach out to the factory again. I say, okay, we're ready to move the good. When's the product ready? Boom, it's done. If you don't like it, I back off. Right. And then, you know, like you go and you get another fate forward to quote you. But right. so that's how we do it. What a lot of fate forward do is they would uh, ask the information from you, the, the importer, right? right? And then you have to reach out to the factory in China and, you know, you're losing time doing other things. And you know, there's a time zone difference. So I, I reach out to the factory for you. Nice. And then once you agree, we uh, EXW, we pick it up from the port of China. We uh, let's do LCL because LCL is a uh, small shipment, right? Uh, like, uh, loose cargo low, right? So we pick it up from the factory. We take it to our container freight station. Uh, we do have to clear custom in China for you. Uh, there is custom clearing that need to be that, that needed. Uh, some product uh, need uh, export documentation. Do you want me to go with the group or um, we just going to say export document? Sorry, what do you mean? Like, uh, like for example, uh, let's just say, um, can't name Pacific product, huh? Just say, I don't know, like garlic price. No, 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 you can't. Uh, okay. Um, let's say a uh, product that, uh, that require FDA. Yeah. Okay. So if product that require FDA, we're going to need FDA paperwork from right. back to make sure that even before it leaves China, we could clear it in the U.S., right? right. Uh, once it reach our warehouse, uh, the one of the general things that we check for you is the May in China sticker. Because mm. without that, you can't clear custom in the U.S. I know there's a lot of people that say, hey, you know, I buy my competitor product. I don't see the May in China on there anywhere. Right. I totally understand that. Yeah, because there's a lot of cargo that come into the U.S. and U.S. custom, Canadian custom, they're not going to catch everything. Yeah. So it will slide through. But the thing is, the moment that it, it, it gets exam and it's not on there, yeah. there's a chance that you will lose all your cargo. It's wow. just like uh, FDA product. You don't need the paperwork, but when you get caught, it disappears. So right. uh, in terms of running your business long term, I, I, I wouldn't gamble at all. Right. Okay. So it seems like it's a very 
hands like as an Amazon, again, as an, I'm representing the Amazon sellers, right? Um, so as an Amazon seller, it seems like a very hands off experience. It's just me, yeah, it, you, Jimmy, this is what I want to do. This is my manufacturer information. Go like get a quote for me. And if I feel like the quote is fair, you take care of the rest. And if you need yeah, I, any I, documentations, then I'll give it to you. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, uh, let, let's go over the process. So the process, I reach out to your factory, your factory say, uh, and get the price for you. You say, Jimmy, the price look good. And then boom, after that, I take the shipment to the warehouse. I clear custom in China for you. During this time, I don't even talk to you. I'm talking to the factory the whole time to clear the cargo in China for you. And then it go on a boat and then or, or air freight, whichever style you want. We do both ocean and air. And then uh, before it get to the port of Long Beach, we will actually collect the invoice and packing list from you to clear the cargo. That's the only time we reach out to you. We say, hey, Tom, can I get the invoice and packing list? And then you mm -hmm. give it to us. We clear the cargo. And then boom, it hit the port of Long Beach. The cargo is clear. We take it to our warehouse. Once it hit our warehouse, you have two options. You ship everything to Amazon or you store some at our warehouse. If you say, you know what, ship, store half of the shipment at, at your warehouse because your warehouse uh, storage is cheaper, ship the other half, you email us the label. Like the, um, right. the FK and scoop. FBA labels and uh, UPS label. You email right. to us, you give it to us before 11 o'clock in the morning we will slap it on and it'd be out the same day at five o'clock. Oh, so wow. in the whole, in the whole experience, if anything, most people just talk to us like three or four emails. That's mm -hmm. it. Unless, you know, like, uh, there's, there's a problem with the shipment. Like, Hey, like we do provide a free inspection of the product at our warehouse. Like we will open it up and we make sure that it's follow Amazon standard. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we do a checklist for you. We, we just imagine we are Amazon. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, does Tom stop have F and SKU? Check. Oh, by the way, you are using um, plastic bag? Does it have suffocation warning? Check. And we take those photos for you, mm. and then we tell that to you for free. And then once you review it, you say, you know what? My final checkpoint is good. And then you give us the label, and boom, it leaves. So we are acting as your final checkpoint as well. So awesome. So we 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 make the whole process as easy as possible. I mean, that's the only reason why you you would hire anybody, right? I mean, right. Not to deal with, you know. Yes. People right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. No, I mean, shipping is, uh, it's not a very fun topic. Um, same as accounting. Uh, I had an accountant on my show the other day and, uh, definitely not the most interesting topic to discuss when it comes to Amazon. Oh, I, I mean like for, for me is, is, is an exciting experience when I do it. Yeah. 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 But I, that's what I'm saying. It's good for us guys. Listen, I mean, you can figure this out all by yourself and I think it's good to go through the process. But I feel like once your business has, or I mean, it depends on your budget, if you have a large budget, um, or once your business is really picking up and you really just want to step out of your business and let everything operate by yourself, then go ahead and hire someone like Jimmy, right? Reach out to someone like Jimmy um, to do all your free forwarding so that there's less headache, less energy that you have to exert from your end. Um, and you can double down on the stuff that you are, you are good at, which is ranking your product on Amazon optimizing, optimizing your listing on Amazon, building your brand outside of Amazon. Um, okay. can, I, can I add something? Uh, th th there was this, uh, there's a person that asked me this question and I'm going to be unbiased, right? What, how do I pick a fake folder? That was mm -hmm. one of the, uh, it's, it's always a topic. Like how do I pick a fake folder? Right? So when you pick a fake folder, you, uh, since I see how the cargo come in, this is my tip for the Amazon seller, right? Picking a fake folder is like picking a supplier, right? So number one, when you pick a supplier, when you first start out, what do you do? You pick the, most people, they pick the cheapest supplier, mm -hmm. right? So, but then you have to ask the supplier, hey supplier, I'm gonna pick the cheapest supplier, but the thing is, if the supply can only manufacture a thousand units a week, right? So right now you are starting out and you selling a thousand unit a week and the supply could supply that much. But the thing is, if you go to, a, if you invest your money to Amazon and you're taking a lot of courses and you know, you're doing all this ad, what happens if next month you go from a thousand unit to 2000 unit? And you ask your supplier, Hey, you know, I, I'm, I know you can only supply a thousand unit. Now I need 2000 unit a week. So that's when, that's when the conflict start. That's when, can't fulfill. I, I think a lot of Amazon sellers run into that problem where they say, you know what? I'm selling out way too fast. Right. And I can't fulfill. My <laughs> That's a good problem. That's a good problem to have. Well, it's a bad problem in the long run because you lose your rank. I'm guessing that's what happened to you guys. Right. Yeah. 
So, so same thing with a fake folder. You could always work with a fake folder. Remember, we fake folder a broker. You could always work with a fake folder as one man that work in his bedroom, you know, that doesn't have a warehouse, right? That move your first small shipment. He doesn't need to do anything. But once you get bigger, once you start doing container, once, you know, your container need labeling, once your container have a problem, is this guy in a bedroom is going to fix your problem for you. Or you need, like, so you, as your business grow, you have to scale it correctly. Like, you know, when I was 16, I do my own tax, man. I'm a cheap guy. You know? <laughs> but, you know, I, right now, I don't think we do our own tax. If we start, you know, like, for Amazon. A little bit more money now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you, you, can, hire, do you can hire an accountant now. Yeah, yeah, you can hire an accountant now, right? But the thing is, I, I, think, I think it's suicide right now. If uh, Tom, I, I know you do a lot of business. I think it's suicide right now. You do your own tax. <laughs> uh I, yeah, I, I would not, yeah, that's not a fun thing for me to do. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like in the beginning, there's nothing wrong. I'm telling you right now, there's nothing wrong with picking the cheapest fake folder that saved you money in the beginning. I support that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, but you have to always pick up the phone and talk to the fake forward and ask if I scale my business, can you scale with me? It's just like picking a, a girlfriend, right? Uh, sorry. You have a girlfriend. I heard. So yeah, the ask her, hey, baby, where, what, what are we doing? Are we, uh, is this a one night stand? <laughs> Your this, analogy uh, game is on point, man. <laughs> the best analogies. You got, you got free 14 to having a girlfriend. Wow. That's uh, a, <laughs> is this a one night stand? Is this a three year relationship? Are we going to get married? Right? So yeah. based on how she answered, it's, it's how you're going to treat her. Right? If it's going to be hope, a one night stand. I hope we don't ask. I hope we don't. Guys. Don't ask the girl on the first date if uh, you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but. but you know, you but, but you have to be straightforward with your fake folder. Like I, I'm, I'm, I have no problem you guys being straightforward with me. Just ask me if I scale my business, can you scale with me? It's just yeah. like picking a partner, right? Um, you have to pick your partner. Like um, Tom, you you do a lot. I mean, if someone picked you as a partner, they know how fast you run. So the mm. question is can you keep up with me or not as my partner? Right. If they say, you know what? I only, I only work in my bedroom. I, I only want to do the scale. And you say, you know what? I want to do a few million dollar in the next, you know, one or two years. Use him in the beginning, but not in the long run. That's how it is. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's a one night stand. You'll categorize that. Yes. That's a one night stand. It's, but if, it's they, if someone wants to do business with you, if someone wants to do business with you, that's a long-term relationship. For me, it's always long-term relationship. Like I, I, you know, you never <laughs> know. You never know when you're going to meet that girl again. You know, always yeah. long -term relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. <laughs> um, cool. Well, um, I don't, Hey, let's see if, uh, Give me a second here. I, I can, I'm on live right now, so I can see if people have questions. Oh yeah, people do. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I forgot that I'm on Facebook Live and um, people can actually ask me questions. So just, just talk. Talk. I blame this on you because you, you are the admin. I'm just supporting you. Just like supporting bro. No, questions are good. Good questions are good. I'm just- uh, I'm a big man and you know, the main man is not doing his job. <laughs> Okay, we got a, we got a couple questions here. So um, Johnny asked, "What is his company name, and what is the service fees?" The service fee, uh, you, when you pick a fake forwarder, uh, my company is Worldcraft Logistic. You know, I, I'll post it uh, in the comment later. But the, when you pick a fake forwarder, don't pick for the service fee because service fee is like seventy five dollars to ninety five dollars. You know, that's our service fee. You have to look at the whole spectrum of it, like what do you need the, uh, the, the, the person to do? Like, I need you to go from point A to point B and I need to know the complete price. Always ask for the complete price, the complete package. Don't, um, don't ask for like, you know, you know, half the package and then surprise, the ink is more expensive than the printer. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Right. So I hope that answered Johnny's question. Yeah. Or John. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And then we got Edwards here. It says, no. Oh, we got, oh, okay. So they asked the same question. All right. No, we're good. Uh, that's all the questions we have. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Um, anything else you want to add at all? 
Yes, uh, I think we talk about it. I, I want to give, uh, because you're doing such a good job, and I, I really want to promote your group, and I want your group to be, you know, bigger, because people never, people never thank those that work hard and help out the group, right? Yeah. So for you, for your group, I want to promote your group more. So any member you want, um, uh, if they use my service, uh, if they do a whole of, um, 40 foot container, uh, $500 off their invoice and they do LCL shipment, $250 off their invoice. Nice. I'm going to pick myself. Can I pick myself? You can pick yourself. If, if, if you put, you put everybody name the raffle box and no one want to raffle, no one want to put their name in. It's so weird. And sometimes on Facebook, no one want to put a name in. You could win. It oh, we, we got, we got a couple more questions coming in here. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing it this for eight years. Eight years. Okay. So seasoned. What is your company? Say it one more time. Worldcraft Logistic. Worldcraft Logistics. So we're going to be posting this in the group after. So you guys don't worry about that. Uh, you will have Jimmy's contact info. We got another question here. Jimmy, about labeling country of origin. If I'm, yes. if I'm getting small items together for a product, all items under four inches, will putting made in China on the package suffice if custom checks? So the question, it's really hard to answer this because I don't know what the product is. So I'm going to guess what the product is the best that I can, because I know a lot of people ask this question, but they don't tell me what the product is. Right? So let's say, for example, if the product is under four inch, uh, it could be a glass bottle. Let, let's just say you're shipping a bunch of glass bottle together and is in a package. Yes. You, you don't need to put the May in China on every single glass bottle. You need to put on the, the box that it, it holds the bottle. Or you sell glass cup. You don't need to put May in China on every single glass cup inside. Just put it on the outer carton. Um, I, I hope that answers your question. Uh, unless it's no, I, th I think that about labeling of country. If I'm knitting small items together for a product, all items under four. Yeah, I, I think if it's come. Yeah, yeah, I think that's answer the question. I mean, if it comes in a single. Yes, he said. He said thanks. Yes, it does. Okay, okay perfect. I, yes. I hope I guessed right because awesome. Yes. <laughs> Yes, this, if you just sell, this is a knife, you know, it's a random one, but if you just sell this singly by itself, yeah, it needs to have made in China on it. Yeah. Sorry, it's just a knife on my desk, but. Cool. Um, any more questions, guys? No, I think that's about it. Um, Jimmy, is there any, any last words you want to say to the group at all? Um, you know, ask uh, as much question as you want. Uh, when you pick your fate folder, here's my tip. It's always good. It's always good to get recommendation, right? Who to use, which supply to use, which uh, um, group is good. But it's always good to actually do your own research, right? Um, from supplier, from broker. Uh, from my advice is pick up the phone, pick up the phone and interview your fate forwarder like you would interview an employee and. Give him a hard time. Like I'm telling you this, like hmm. pick up the phone and give that fate for a hard time because that's how you pick your partner. You don't pick your partner just because eh, I'm lazy, you know, hmm. give that fate for a hard time. That's my advice. Nice. That's a good one. Oscar, uh, one more question for Oscar here. Oscar asks, do you clear customs? Yes, we clear custom for you as well. Okay, perfect. All right, Jimmy. Well, I'm going to be sending you an email after cause I got some products I got to move from China. Um, <laughs> and if, you can, if you can contact my supplier for me, that'll be awesome. Cool. No problem. Hey man. Thanks. Awesome. Thank so let me, let me just, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was my first time going on Facebook live with the group. So try something new here. And, um, yeah, I think, I think it's a good way to engage with you guys all. So thank you so much for your time, Jimmy. And, uh, I'm sure, um, we'll be talking very soon. All right. Thank you guys. All right. Thanks. Ciao. All right.